Hey guys, what's up? Mossman here for another Cave Talk video. Lost track of how many I've done, so I'm just gonna call them Cave Talk from now on. Um, a couple things to talk about. Nothing bad, but something that I need to let you guys know about. So, first off, I want to apologize for last weekend not doing the show. Things kind of got crisscrossed, twisted up, and timing and scheduling got pretty, pretty, uh, it, it got, it was a cluster fuck and a half, and so we couldn't do the show. But the good news is, though, is that the topic we were going to talk about on that show has allowed me to fine-tune it for the next show, and, um, this functional family is not going to lose its attitude. I do try to throw in a few talks here and there just just to kind of get you guys into it, you know. Um, and the thing is, my I try to interact with chat um, a little bit. Not so much to where it interferes with the actual show, but at the same time, I was, to, I was always told that interacting with your audience is always a good thing. It keeps them you know, keeps you guys interested, and also if you have any questions, it allows us to answer. Um, so, but this this next show is really going to be um, basically this kind of let you guys let you guys know what's really going on, um, what's going on with the next show. This, uh, I'm sorry, I'm tongue tied here, but what's going on with the next show is um, I get asked quite a few questions, um, and also what I think are the most common questions that are being asked in the vape game, and most of the questions, and mo these questions kind of came up to me, and also Dangerson's wife, Astro, she helped me out with a few of them too, um, I think me and her came up with like, I came up with like 10 or 11, and she came up with like another 4 or 5. And they range from people who are starting or wanting to start vaping, make the switch, all the way up to more advanced stuff. People who want to get to more advanced levels. So that's what this show is going to be about. It's going to be answering some of the questions that I've heard. And a lot of my subscribers, excuse me, a lot of my subscribers are newer people. You know, and I say newer, I mean, you know, they haven't been... You know, from they're beginners. They're at the beginner level, or you know, they're a, a starter kid and they want to go into, you know, rebuildables stuff like that. So this is going to be a way to help my viewers who are you know at the beginner level who don't really know a whole lot and want to know more. So that's what this show is going to be about. Also, there is going to be a change in the scheduling a little bit because where I work um, I'm in a union and unions obviously have contracts usually have contracts with the, with the corporate company so and our contract is due on the 15th of this month so and there's a really good chance of going on strike not gonna go into home many, too many details but basically if we go on strike um, I'm going to have to be very, very dingy or very conservative with my money. So, reviews for now are going to be reduced down to one review a week. Um, and that's going to be done on Mondays. And if I, if, yeah, it's going to be done on Mondays. And then I'm going to move Cave Talk actually to Wednesday. Uh, just so I can help spread out the week still. And give you guys, you know, at least try to give you guys as much content as I possibly can under my circumstances. And I am going, so, Monday review, Wednesday, it's going to be Cave Talk from Tuesday to Wednesday. Um, don't know where I really, I don't know if I'm going to do anything f Friday. Um, I'll figure something out and I'll let you guys know. Um, hell, if you guys have any suggestions on what to do. Do on a fri on uh, Friday morning when I get home from work, you know, the shoot the shit, go live for an hour, or uh, do a tutorial uh, on something, you know, like how to build for a certain RDA that I 
could possibly have. Um, and then obviously Saturday is the functional family. Um, hoping that this is going to be a temporary schedule, but I can, with uh, a suggestion from TCAT, I am going to kind of, I'm going basically going to be giving you guys a voice on what to review. So basically, we're doing one review a week on a Monday, so when Cave Talk happens on Wednesday, I'll hold up two devices that I've yet to record a review for. And I'm going to allow you guys to pick which one of those two you want to see me review next. And then I'm going to do it the next week. So the one that I did not get picked will be back up, and then another one will be added in. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun, right? You guys will get the pick on what I review as far as devices I have in my possession. Um, did get a couple of new things though on loan from Jared Vaping Goat. And Jared, again, I thank you brother for lending me these. Because I was kind of interested in these things, but I just could never get around to get them. Um, one of them being the Hell Vape and SMM or Mac from Suck My Mod Passage uh, RDA. Been running this thing for I want to say a week now Been throwing a few builds in here seeing where this thing shines at the most does it like more is it like smaller builds or does it like chunky builds um, first impression of it airflow smooth um, does not get as hot as I was expecting it to be and so far I haven't had really any issues with it so that's all, that's all that really impressed me so far. Um, so, so far so good as far as the tests. And when it comes down time to review this, this little thing, let's just, hopefully it, it, it might, I may end up not liking it. I may end up li uh, liking it. Um, who knows? We're going to have to find out, right? I got a... Fuse Cotton building here. It's a 24 gauge dual core of Nichrome 80 with 34 Nichrome 80 on the outside. Five wraps over the three. Got at 0.1 ohms and 110 watts on the checkmate. A little bit of a whistle, but again, still fiddling with it. Next thing that he loaned me, he only lent me two this time, um, which, no harm, no foul. This one is actually a kit. Um, it's a sub -own tank and a mod, and I actually am going to just review the mod, because um, when I give this back to him, he's going to give it to a buddy of his, so I do not want to risk messing the tank up so let me get the mod out of here for all those who don't want to know it is the UL Valerian 2 kit but I'm just going to be reviewing the mod <laughs> so you got caught in there <laughs> haven't really messed with this thing yet I like the packaging though know. but uh one thing about UL is, um, for anybody that remembers the Relo, uh RX Gen 3, 300 watt, which I have one, it's just not here in my studio right now at the moment. <laughs> but you, uh, uh J-Bo or Wismek said that this is the, uh, that it's the smallest mod that can be, can be possibly made for a triple battery. And I've used that Gen, I use the Gen 3 quite regularly, um, even though I haven't shown it really in a live stream or in a video, I do res use it quite regularly. It's usually my out and about if I'm going, you know, going out somewhere and stuff, that's usually the mod I take. But uh, I can tell just from this uh, Valerian 2 mod that this is actually a wee bit smaller than the RX Gen 3. Um, 
Got three batteries that are married, so I gotta. I should probably set this thing up. But we still got a little, just about a week left of the next review, so. Actually, so what. I'm. I'm losing my train of thought here. So the next two up for review. Let's go with. It's not here right now, but would you like me to, would, what do you guys want me to review next? Do you want me to review the Passage RDA, or do you guys want to see me finally shooting the review for the Voltro 41mm RTA? That one's still kind of fighting me a little bit, but I think I'm just about there. Con there's enough there to where I can actually wick it without having any issues. So, the Voltro 41 or the Passage RDA. Put a, either say the product. Yeah, just, we're just going to do that. Just say the product you want reviewed. Voltro or the Passage. Those two. And the winner will be reviewed next Monday um, and I had to take another week off last week I know I didn't put any videos up and I just had to take another week off I was uh, not in a really good state of mind um, I was not my head was not clear by any sense of the word um, however and it's also just due to the whole strike thing at work. It's just been on my mind quite heavily because it's the threat is worse than it was last time so it's got me kind of on edge a little bit as far as that. Um, but when I took the week off I did get a few messages from people a few some of my subscribers go also go to the same shop I go to and when they call me at the shop they ask me Monster Man, are you done? Are you done with YouTube? <laughs> at first, I'm going to be honest, at first I thought I was. But, with the help of the dysfunctional family, and just taking the time off to clear my head, I am done when I say I'm done. And trust me, guys. I ain't done yet. I am far from being done. As long as there's vape products being made, as long as there are people watching my reviews, watching my videos in general. I ain't going anywhere. Whether you love me or you hate me, I am not leaving. I'm still going to be in this chair at this desk with a camera in front of me. Simple as that. I am the people's monster, and I intend to stay that way. I am far from done. Stop. But yeah, guys, that's really all I have to talk about. Um, short 15, 16 minute video. Just to kind of give you guys a, an apology for last week and not doing the show. I, f I feel horrible for not being able to do it. But things happen. Uh, the schedule change, hopefully that's temporary. If we don't go on strike, then I should be back to a more normal schedule. However, I will say doing three reviews and cave talk was a bit overwhelming it really was um 
so I might just go ahead and add another review to two reviews a week with Cave Talk and then the stream until I can really really figure out um, well not really figure out anything uh, more of taking it easy and just figure out my limits because I think I was pushing myself a little too hard but guys trust me I ain't going anywhere I, as long as YouTube allows me to keep this channel I there's nowhere else I'd rather be than here here with you guys showing you products telling you what I think of them thank you guys for watching and as always until next time Monster Man Vapes signing off you guys take care and you have a great night I love you guys peace out